Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create a timer based exam in WordPress. So for this tutorial, we are going to be using QSM, um, which is a powerful WordPress plugin used by some of the top global brands such as Elementor, Nike and Booking.com to create online quizzes, surveys, exams and more. So from our dashboard, let's download our plugin, hover over plugins and click add new. Okay, so just type in quiz and survey master. Quiz and survey master. It's the first result, so click install now. Activate. All right, so we have installed our plugin. So we just need to configure it. So on the left, just click QSM. And this will take us to our QSM dashboard. Okay, so this is our QSM dashboard. We need to go to the bottom and click create new quiz or survey. So click this. All right, so th these are our themes. We have our default theme, but we have other paid themes. So click next. And now we are going to type our quiz name. Type timed exam. And we are going to keep our form type as quiz. So our grading system stays at correct or incorrect time limit. Let's say um, a 10 minute. No, let's say five minutes. And we will not require user login. So click next. OK, so these are our add ons. This is what we use to extend the functionality of our plugin, but we don't need any add ons. So click create quiz. And this is where we add our questions and answers. So over here on the right, we have our question type as well as our answers type. So we have multiple question types, also multiple answers types. This is where we select whether or not our question is required. And this is where we add our categories and also our uh, featured images and we have our advanced options right here. We can also create a new question at the bottom here or add a question from our question bank. So let us add our questions. Let's type our first question. So let's type what do fish breathe with? We can also add a description and add correct answer info to our question. So let's type our answer gills. Lungs, scales, they do not breathe. Now we need to select our correct answer, gills, and click save question. Okay, so we've added our first question. Let's add a new question. See, um, how many days are there in a leap year? All right, question mark. So let's add our answer. But wait, before we add our answer, let us add a description to this question. So let's type our description. Um, so let's say a leap year does not have the same number of uh, days as a regular year. All right, so um, let's add our answer. Um, the first one is 366. That's the correct answer. Um, 365, 364, and let's say 300. So let's select our correct answer. And let's save our question. Okay, let's create a new question. And this part will be sped up, so <laughs> hang tight.
So we have typed our questions and let's create a new page, create new question. And we just want to arrange our questions right now. So let's drag all of the questions pertaining to, um, to days or months or years to the second page and leave all our ocean questions on the first page. So this part is sped up. We want to ensure that we have enough questions in our quiz. So we're adding at least one more question. And we want to make this question more interesting. So we're changing it to how many bones do sharks have? And we're making it multiple choice with four options. Okay, so we have all of our questions, but we have an extra question at the bottom. So let's delete it, click delete, click delete again, and click OK. Let's preview our quiz. Okay, so this is our timed exam, but we don't have a contact form. So um, let's click next to view our quiz. So this is the first page, and this is the second page. So we are going to add our contact form. So let us go back to our quiz page and click contact. So now we want to add a new field click add new field in the field type. Um, keep it as small open answer. So in the label section type name and used for name, make it required. And let's add a new field, click add new field. In the label section, type email, used for email, and let's check required. So all we need to do right now is click save contact details. Let's go back to our questions. Okay, so we forgot to make our questions required. So uh, we are going to check the box next to required on each question. Let's go to our text tab. And we see that we have a message to be displayed before our quiz. So we can change this right now. It says welcome to your quiz name and quiz name is a variable. It corresponds to our actual quiz name. So let's type our own message. Let's say please do not cheat. So this is our message and we can use the toolbar to format this text. So let's make it bold. Now let's configure our options. So click options. And we see that we have a number of functions that we can configure. Um, but today, just for the sake of this tutorial, we just want to enable our progress bar. So scroll to the top and find our progress bar settings. So yes, it's right here. So click yes, and scroll down and click save changes. So moving on to emails. Um, this is our email section. This is where we configure what emails a user gets. So this is a variable and variables are used um, to perform functions dynamically. So the plugin will send an email to anybody who puts their email address in our form. And this is our email subject. Next, we have our email content, which is, which is the body of our email. And over here, we have our condition section. So Without a condition, this email will always be sent. But if we add a condition, we can see that we have a correct score percentage condition. So it could be total points earned. And for the second part, it says is equal to or is not equal to or is greater than or equal to. But let's select is greater than. So if the correct score is greater than, uh, let's say, 80% then this email will be sent. So let's add some text to our email content. Let's say um, congratulations or um, congrats. You are a genius. Genius. Okay, so let's move to our results page. And we see that a results page is similar to an email page. Uh, so this message will be displayed after a user has completed a quiz. 
So back at our email section, we see that it's a similar interface. So don't confuse the two. Um, back at our results page, um, we see that we can also add a condition, but there's no condition. So this email will always be sent out. So let's click insert template variables and these variables can be inserted into our messages if we ever need them. So let us go back to our results pages and we just want to click save results pages at the bottom left. Click save results pages. So let's preview our exam. So this is our exam. Let's type our email. And let's click next to take our exam. So the first answer is gills. Dolphins have no gills, so no. Uh, sharks have zero bones. Click next, see our progress bar, click next. So also at the bottom, we have our timer. So this lets us know how much time we have left to take our exam. So we're at four minutes and about 35 seconds right now. This is our last question. Click submit. So we have our results and we see here that uh, we have our dolphin question wrong. Do dolphins have gills? Uh, the correct answer is no, but it's showing up as an incorrect answer. And this is because we never specified our correct answer. So we go back to our questions and find our dolphin question is right here and we need to select the correct answer. So let's take our exam again. Let's say gills, no. How many bones do sharks have? Zero. Click next. And how many hours are there in the day? 24. How many days in the leap year? 366. What day comes after Wednesday? Thursday. So we have our results and this is the message from our response page. Uh, but if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we will see that the Thursday question, let's find it. Okay, there it is, the Thursday question. So this answer is wrong because of the exclamation mark. Um, so it needs to be the exact answer provided for that question. So right now we need to insert our quiz onto a page. So click QSM. Then we need to click quizzes or surveys and we see our timed exam we need to find our short code so um click short code and this is our short code here so let's click our copy button on the left and we just need to create a page click the x now let's add our title so our exam and click the plus icon then type short code there it is, short code. So we need to click short code and paste our short code. So now let's click publish and let's view our page. All right, so we have created our timed exam.